Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Global Indices. Just before we start though, I just want to remind folks of uh, our new service uh, here under Global Indices here. So we're covering uh, these uh, global indices. Let me just bring this up here. Malik uh, is covering uh, all of these uh, indices uh, here. So um, yeah, just a reminder of that because I've had some questions about do you do this and do you do that. So um, there we go. Um, the S&P 500 here on the weekly chart here, we're in a nice trend uh, as you can see in earlier wave terms here we're looking at one and two and all the way up the three four pay no attention to these prices where these highs are over here it's just a guesstimate and uh, things can extend out or shorten up and all of those sorts of things but in a nutshell from wave two here we're looking for one two three four five waves and between wave four and wave five here we're looking for five waves so we're going to be talking about that today so let's go in here and go to the daily chart and pick it up on wave four so I'll just open this up through here and um, we can see I'm not much of an indicator man but uh, we can see the stochastics are pulling back there. Now this particular wave 4 here uh, up into this wave 5 uh, area here for this so uh, let me just think about this for a moment. So one of the things I wanted to talk about today, and I did talk about it in the stocks video today, is that if we take this length here of wave one here, for example, then we want the wave three here, this wave three here, to be longer than wave uh, than wave one here, you know. And the normal thing is, is that with Elliot, you would grab the top of wave one and bring it down to the bottom of the previous, you know, the length of wave one here. And then you would lift this up here to wave two here. Now, first of all, at this level here, you get the equality of wave one, the same length as wave one. But we're normally looking for the extension. So we would look for 1618 uh, up into this area here. So we're quite a distance away from each other at this particular point. OK, so. Uh, that means that this five wave structure from wave two, because let's just go over this for a second, from wave four here we're looking for one and two and three and four and five up here for this wave five of wave three here. Now what we need is we need all the leading, well most of the leading stocks, the general consensus of, of the stock market to also top out on this primary wave three here because there will be a correction and when it does come down it's going to bring you know most of the market with it in that sense so this way intermediate wave five or primary wave three is quite critical uh, here so the problem here is that um, wave three here at this stage seems a little bit short now we've mentioned this before and I did go over it today in the stocks video um, so we're going to have to rework this particular structure here not only in the S&P but also in the NASDAQ as well so we're going to be very shortly running two counts I'm not going to go into a, a, a into a into a uh, big thing today about it. We've got this low as wave four here, but this wave four here will probably change into another uh, another um, character. And if I could just um, explain my uh, my change here is that if we take this wave four here, for example, and then we look at some stocks. So if we just look at a couple of stocks here, this is Amazon here, and this is the same wave four here, right? So in this case, we've got wave one and two here and one and two here, right? So we're going up into the third wave and we haven't even got to the fourth wave yet. But on the S&P here, we're already at the fourth wave, so we shouldn't be at the fourth wave. The fourth wave should be up here somewhere, and this wave three should be up here. So we need to extend this up here. You with me? And uh, so, you know, the, the, and other markets are there as well. So, with, like with uh, 
with Facebook here, we've got Wave Meta, Wave 4 here, we've got Wave 1 here, Wave 2 here, then Wave 1 here and 2 here. We don't have any Wave 4 in, in sight here. Wave 4 will be up here somewhere. Do you know what I mean? So we need to, you know, look at other markets as well and, you know, and make some changes. It's not... Um, it's not really going to interfere with our trades that we have on in the market at all. But um, it, all I'm just saying is it will need to uh, to change this. Now, I'm not going to go in here today and show you the change that we'll be making. You can have a look at that in the stocks video. But uh, tomorrow and uh, each day that uh, we, we do this, we'll be uh, looking to sort of work two counts to the upside. It's okay for wave three to be short, you know, shorter or the same size <coughs> as wave one. I get all of that, but the stock market is telling me something else, right? So, uh, you know, I need to, it's telling me I need to make some changes, otherwise changes will be made to me. <laughs> so um, yeah. Anyway, in a nutshell, we uh, still uh, need to climb uh, higher. We just probably end up going high for this wave three and four and five up here for this, because we've got a fair way to go. When you think about it, when you think of Amazon here for a moment, you know it was like May to June to get to one and two here. That means wave four will be simple, so that will take a bit out of it. But realistically. You know, from this from this low here, getting up to this primary wave three here that I just talked about in stocks. I mean, currently this would be the center of the trend. Well, that's the center right here, of of the trend. So we've got one and two, one and two, and ones and twos in here. So this would be the other side of it. Now this other side of it here can be a little bit more laborious because we've got fours and fives that we need to play out here, and wave fours can be complicated. But uh, in this case, we've had this wave two being quite complicated, so these, these ones will be quite maybe a bit simpler up here. But my main gist here is that we're only just halfway through this trend from wave four to wave five here, and this will be the same as um, uh, as this market here. We've got one and two here, and one and two. We're not even in the third wave here yet. You know, we're building into that. So it'll catch up because it'll be the third of the third soon, and it'll it'll push off nicely, and we're prepared for that. You know, um, <clears throat> so I won't go into any of the other stocks. You can just watch the stocks video for that. But that's where we are. Anyway, we're going to just continue to work this wave four here, and uh, let's just go in and. Have a bit of a look at uh, that. Are we on 2,000 here or 1,000 ticks here? I think it was on 1,000 ticks. Yeah, we'll just go to 1,000 ticks. I think it's got a bit more detail. Um, so, yeah, look, as you know, we've been working this wave four here and we're looking for a move to the upside uh, here. Now, I've got wave one here and wave two here. Now, they don't make a very nice um, <clears throat> wave one here. You know, I've counted this wave one here. If we take this little bit here, this is 1,000 ticks here. This is 20 ticks here. So in this case here from the wave four, we've got one, two, three, four, five, four, one and two and three and four and five up here. Then the ABC pattern here. And this is a bit of a dog's breakfast up here, this one, two, three, four, five up here. So, we, so you know, this here will end up playing out um, something, something like this here. So we should be sort of okay at this point. Um, we can just probably run trend lines through here, I guess. But this, I'm not sure how it looks like. It looks a little bit impulsive here. So just be prepared for some weirdness here, you know, something like this to go into play. Uh, here for that but basically we're sort of on our way to the upside it's just not a very nice looking picture here you could you could view this as being corrective here so the safe trade here would be taking out this top here if you're if you're putting safety first that would be the move at that point <clears throat> so we can go safety first we can do that and we can just go long above this point here but you know the thing here is that you need to understand is that uh, we've got this is one and two here, we'll have three, four, five up here, and then we're gonna have some sort of ABC back again. Now, the difference with this new count that we'll need to bring in as a secondary count is that, well, this wave five to, uh, wave four to wave five here can bring us back down to this level here. The new count that we've got won't bring us down to this level. It will be more like five waves up here with an ABC pattern here and then moving up again. So this is this will be the one will pull back here and one won't pull back as far. 
when we go over to the, uh, oh, this is the spire here, so I don't need to sort of bore you to death here, but this wave three and four and this wave four is going to change. And, you know, we've got a little bit of a move to the upside, so it's looking okay um, at this point, um, but it would be nice to see, you know, some support on on this, this little structure's not finished. So we've also got GDP and employment figures coming out in the next session as well. So, you know, be a little bit careful about this. We don't have a strong case to put this wave four in here. There's still, you know, this previous wave four's here. There's, you know, we could end up seeing, you know, a little one, two, three, four, five up here and then a move down here and then a move up. So just be a little bit careful about what you do at this point. And the NASDAQ, so this is a weekly chart for the NASDAQ and uh, we've got one and two and then one and two here and three and four and five up here for the third wave. So we're going from four to five, the same sort of thing. I think this will play out a lot more across this level here. Now, what we do when we got 20,000, which is a major level, we've got group two below and group one above, which is one, two, and three here. So these tops here, they can be, you know, they can be higher here. They can come up to the, you know, above the three here even, you know. So we'll probably need to extend this one up here further. <coughs> Let's go to the daily chart and check on this. So picking it up from this way four, this is where all those you know, all the stocks that we've got. So um, Amazon here, you know, NVIDIA, all, all you know, um, mo most of them. So let's just go to the one day chart here and pick it up from that wave four. So this wave four here. So this is the same situation here. You can see we've got this nice long wave one here and two here. And then this is going to make wave three quite short here. If we put wave four here and then this wave four. But this here, you know, at the 20,000, this is, you know, because we've reacted at the 20,000 here, that means we're going to be looking at this pattern here. So we're reacting here. We've had this. We'll get the first high above the level and then we'll come back here again. So, um, yeah, so it's pretty simple. It's, it's either this pattern we get because it reacted here or we get this pattern here where it doesn't come back below the level. <clears throat> And this is this is quite a possibility actually when you see where how Amazon and um, Meta and a few of the others have got themselves established. But in a nutshell, we should see this move up here, this move back, and then this move back, and then this move back, and then so on. <clears throat> but we're probably going to rearrange some of this trend in here because it's just a little bit short. <clears throat> See, the thing is, I know that you'd probably say, well, Pete, you could probably put wave one down here or something of this nature and put this here and put this here and, and do this and do this here. And I, and I get all that. I can see all the counts. But the problem is, is that when you look at Amazon, and I'm just using it as an example, I could use any stock, but, you know, we've got one and two and one and two, and you can see it's powering off here, you know. So the thing is, is that there's no way the NASDAQ, because <laughs> there's no way the NASDAQ can be like that. The NASDAQ's got to be more like this, you know. It's got to be like this, so we've got to extend it out. And uh, I know it's difficult to go long when a market is being sort of, is being in a bullish trend for a while. You know, I, I, I get it. You know, you're always looking for tops and, and we can be swayed by other people and, um, you know, all sorts of things can uh, happen. And, you know, I mean, it's good to share ideas. It's just don't marry any of them, you know, try to stay, you know, rooted in the fact and the evidence of whatever's going on. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it. So... Uh, let's just go in here a bit further. So from one day we'll go into the 20,000 here and we've got this wave three and four that we've been working through. And uh, we've got this ABC pattern here. We've hit our target. We can look at this as being an impulse wave to the upside. I could put wave two here or I could put wave two over here. This is the 50, 60% retracement level. This is also a bit of a dog's breakfast in here as well. So I'm just, uh, we can put it here and get away with it. I can sort of work that a bit. And uh, we could also put it over here, but it's just good to give you the bad news first, which it can come down here before going up. And the long trade here would be safe. Long trade would be at this, taking that top out there. That would secure 
uh, that correction being completed uh, at that time. Uh, so that's kind of it, really, in a bit of a nutshell there. We can go in and make it more complicated and all the rest of it, but um, everything said and done, we will be looking for, you know, one, two, three. Third wave normally comes in around the top here, and then the fourth here, some dance across here and up here. So swing trade is out at 20, uh, and you could push it up into 20, uh, 20 uh, 200 there, uh, and then we'll see some sort of, you know, move back here, but this um, this this consolidation in here and this consolidation in here will be the supporting factor over here, and this is group two here, 65, 72, and 80 in here, which is all part of um, group one above and group two below at sub level, not minor level. So it's just the first degree. Minor level is at the 2100 here, so minor one, minor two, and minor three. So it's still very, you know, still in the very early stages um, of this. I'll just see here, I think I might have something on 1000 here. Okay, so this is looking at it. Um, <clears throat> so from this wave four here, we can count up here to wave one. <clears throat> now I can, as I mentioned, I can put wave two over to here. That's doable. Um, but because this is a bit of a bit of a dog's breakfast here, we've got to kind of take it on um, in terms of a correctional pattern. So if it was going to go down, then this would be wave one here with wave two here, and then this would be one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, the fourth wave, and the fifth wave, something like this, you know. So you want to be sort of over here back into group two here, 65, 72, and 80 to build up at that point. And in the meantime, uh, I won't go into it, but uh, we can go long at that at that top there. So you'll either go long there or long there. So use group two if you know your trading levels and uh, move in at that point. And uh, this is just a triple Q as well. So look from, from this particular low uh, here, we can count up as uh, one, two, three, four, five for one and two and three, four, five for one here. We could also put wave two here. Look at this as one and two. And we could also look at this as one and two. So it depends, you know, if the Asian session is going to drift lower, then this is just going to gap down into this wave two here rather than this one here. But otherwise, you know, if it if the Asian the Asian session could, you know, drop down here and then make a turn back up, you know, before before the uh, before the cash in, on, in the U.S. opens. So then you'd get something like this here, you know, it would stay steady at that point. It'll be one, one and two and one and two and one and two and continue to build to the upside. So if it falls out of bed, you know, it's just going to find its feet down here and then move up from that point. So not a, not a biggie. Let me come over to the, to the Russell here and, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to say about it. It's just still sort of sticking to the uh, major trading level two here. And uh, we're talking about looking for a break above this particular high yesterday here. It does appear that we've got this as one and now an A and an ABC for the B wave and one, two, three, four, five here for a C wave here. You could probably work this in here as, a, as one and two and one and two in here as well. You could probably put this here as two. Um, I haven't pulled it apart. I haven't bothered with it too much. I'm not going to let it take up too much of my time. But, um, yeah, it's just not, um, just doesn't want to get out of bed, does it, you know? So, uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, until the interest rates drop, these, you know, these companies, smaller companies are under financial pressure and uh, and will they drop them anyway, you know? I mean, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go over to to Europe. So we've got the DAX here, and uh, we've been in this particular correction here, coming back down here. And you know, you could label it in different ways. I can see, I can see that you can WXY it, you could ABC it here. Um, but there's a pretty good case for wave four being, uh, you know, being uh, in place here. Um, but we don't really have the best looking, um, my platform's just resetting, it must be 8 o'clock in, in Sydney. Um, so um, we started to count this up as impulsive yesterday. And this is sort of what it looks like from wave 4 here now. Wave 1 with an A and a B and a C wave here. 
for wave two, then one and two and three and four and five. Now, if I'm completely wrong here, then this will be an A and a B and a C wave up here and then come down here further. That's the, that's the thing here, right? <clears throat> so before you go along here, you would need one, two, three, four, five up here. You need four and five and then the ABC pattern. So I don't think you need to do anything for the Thursday. Um, Friday we could start looking for long trades uh, here unless we get some something that's going to sort of stand out that we can use um, so yeah I mean having way four over here just puts us puts us way behind the US market you know it's a bit of a struggle I like to keep the I don't like things getting too far out of whack you know I like to see um, the correlation sort of working or at least doing the mirror opposite or something but um, when they're lagging it makes you know it's like how far are they going to get out of out of sync you know <clears throat> so they will come back um, you know I've seen the DAX a couple of weeks behind the S&P that's not a, not a problem and like I said at the beginning of the trend up from 2022 um, you know the DAX was leading to the upside and the S&P was lagging um, but quite often this this lag this five wave structure here I've got here you know I mean it's pretty loose and it's not the best in the world and there's prop there's issues with it it can easily be counted corrective so just bear bear in mind that so yeah be be careful what you do here the main point here is looking for support on on this number here a tested support on top of 18,300 which is the top of minor group one of 18 here tested support here and trading above something is not support you need the first high above support and then you can go long you know so uh, we just have to wait for that and this brings us over to the FTSE and the FTSE would be over here as well with its <clears throat> way four low here and we're trying to make sense of this in terms of uh, a move to the upside and uh, I've got this here as one and two here and then one two three four five for one and ABC for two here now you could also count this as corrective as well here if the 200 here becomes the retested resistance then there's going to be an issue at that at that point you know yeah so that's a 50 60 percent or 62 percent retracement level there so um, and resistance is, you know, as you know, um, it's at the 200 here, it'd be this here, you know, it needs to come down here to bounce off it, come through, come back and take the, taking the low out here makes it resistance. Now this here can go back above the level here and then come down again, um, a, bit, a bit more complicated, but um, this one here, so it makes the first low below the level and goes back above here, but that's all just noise, don't it? it's all about this point here. If that gets breached, then you know that this level's been, that price point's been tested and failed, and it will go down further at that point, being tested, you know. So if this becomes the retested resistance, which will be, which will be coming down here, so we've got the bounce here, there might be another bounce here, we don't know, but it doesn't really matter, but if it, once it got, got the first low below the level here, and it may just go straight down like that, or it might be like this here and then come down. But that low here, that's what it's all about. If that becomes it here, then you can be pretty sure that we're going to be testing new, we're going to be down here somewhere at the 8,000. But, you know, it's sort of like the, I can see, I can see the US tech stocks going up. So they should drag, you know, all the others kicking and screaming, you know. So we'll see how, um, see how it goes so it's really Friday that we should be looking for trade so not so much uh, in the next session but we'll you know I mean it'd be great if we could see five waves up but yeah so we'll see what it looks like for Friday and then we come over to the Australian market and the Australian market is also in a bit of a weak spot as well so in terms of timing here uh, this is in line with you know the US markets with wave four here. So we could just line that up with Amazon here while well, because we've been using it. Um, so we've got this wave four here with wave one and two and one and two and going into this third wave here. So blue one and blue two and then into this one and this one from this wave four here. So this is exactly the same as this one here, except it hasn't lifted off. You know, it hasn't taken out the tops here yet. So one and two and one and two and one and two. But now, but if it takes out this if it takes out this low here, then that's the end of that count. 
And then we have to go to our alternative count, which we've been uh, viewing over the last week or so, just keeping an eye on it, and that's bringing wave four over here. So if the DAX and the FTSE go down, then this is going to go down with it because this market will follow the FTSE. And do I have this triangle right as wave three here with an A, B, C, D, and E here? I, I don't know. I could, ex I could close it up shorter. You know, I could, I could go like this here. I could do this and I could put, um, I could put wave one here and wave two here. I could do that. Or I could extend it out even further here. You know, I could put wave D um, over here. This means, meaning this here would be down here for this, this here, and then this here, and then going up at that point and bringing wave four back over here. So there's a, there's a, a few ways that this could play out here. One of the things that we've always wanted to look at here is for this number here to become the support, the seven, eight but it just keeps getting sort of pushed down and we're getting these lower lower highs here. So it's basically a rinse and repeat here. So I won't go into it. Let's see let's see if um, let's see if I mean today's Thursday. We want to see if Friday's going to be strong and we want to see if the US banks pick up. They they sort of fell out of bed a little bit and uh, we need yeah, we just need the US banks to push up and our banks will follow that and then our ASX will follow that as well. So yeah, I can't give you any short intraday trades uh, in here at the moment for this. We just got to kind of, I've got to kind of figure out what, how this is going to sort of play out here. So we'll just see. Alrighty, I'll leave it all at that. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.